Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com. This is my 9-in-1 uh, multi-escape room prop board. And over the next few days, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating uh, eight tiny short but sweet video manuals uh, going over the setup and demonstration of each of the different um, props included with this main board. Now this is prop number one, program one, uh, the coin slot prop, which requires that you play you... Uh, you insert three of the correct coins, the coins you set yourself, and I'm going to show you how, um, to deactivate the mag lock. And of course the unit talks to you, we're going to plug into our computer speakers. And so first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up and, uh, and then we're going to go through demonstration. Now I should mention that this prop again has nine internal programs, uh, coin slot prop, two light sensor based props, two RFID based props, a bomb prop, a combination lock, uh, mag lock controller prop, a laser grid heist prop, uh, and a key based prop, key switching based prop. So we'll get through all those. If you're interested in this prop, stay tuned because I'll be re revealing uh, video manuals every day for the next few days. So let's set up our main board for program one. The first thing we want to do is make sure that on our program dip switch, all of the dip switches are are uh, turned to the off position, which is down, which they are right now, and that will enter us into program one during power up. We want to make sure that this jumper is set to A and not B. The maglock extension wires, uh, there will be a white wire, which is your ground, your essentially your negative wire, and then a solid color. In this case, it's blue. White is the common denominator here, and that goes into the BLK slot right here and your solid color goes in the RED slot right here. Now if you actually look back to where the cable starts and is extended, there is a red and black wire. So you want to make sure that the wire connected to the red goes to the RED terminal and the wire that is connected to the black wire goes to the BLK terminal. Uh, once you have that in place, we'll connect to our, uh, our audio output to our stereo system. Now that that's done, I'm going to take the included stereo cable, connect it to the stereo input of my computer speakers, and to the other side, I'm going to connect right here to the AUD out for audio out jack. On the upper left hand side of the board, there is a three pin header labeled uh, on the left 12V for 12 volts, and to the right, in the middle, and the right pin key one. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our uh, we're going to connect our coin slot, our coin receiver module to this, but there's a bit more of an explanation required here. Not much, but a little bit. The coin slot module comes with mounting hardware uh, and a plug with extension cable. The extension cable has uh, wires that likely won't mimic the colors coming directly from the back of the uh, coin slot module, but it's important to know what wire is which. So let's have a quick look up close at where this bad boy connects to the coin slot module. Red is 12 volts, white is signal, and black is ground and they connect all the way back to here. Now as you can see I've got a purple, blue, and green connector connected but if I trace it back I notice that my green wire is connected to black, my blue wire is connected to white signal, and my purple wire is connected to red. So this is going to be very important. Red is 12 volts connected to purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main board. So I'm going to want to connect the purple wire from the extension to the 12 volt pin. And then the rest falls into place. I've got green connected to ground, blue connected to signal, and purple connected to red which is 12 volts. So now we're done setting up the board. Let's set up our coin receiver. The coin receiver module mounts from the face into a fixture or a wall. There are mounting holes. It comes with mounting hardware. Um, if a, an incorrect coin is inserted, it's returned Sorry, via the return slot. And if a proper coin is received, it's uh, returned through the back so that the players cannot reuse the same coins. The idea for this prop is they find three very specific coins and only then will they be able to deactivate the mag lock. Now let's talk about uh, calibrating for your own specific coin. For this video I'm using um, Icelandic Kroner, 10 Kroner coins, uh, but you can use anything you want. 
and you can also adjust the uh, the tolerance. So um, if a, a coin is giving you problems, you can you can lower the tolerance and uh, and you can fix that problem with relative ease. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna show you how to uh, calibrate your own coin. So once you determine what coin you're going to be using, a coin that obviously your players are not gonna have um, in their pockets. I've got 10 Icelandic kroner right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gently pull this up, lay my coin in underneath the re replaced coin slot, put it in there, Make sure it's nice and snug, it's flat, and that's done. So now this coin is the is going to be the coin that helps to deactivate the prop. Now if you look right here, it'll be very difficult for my camera to pick it up, but there's a plus on the left and a minus on the right. So basically, uh, your sensitivity. If you turn, if you use a flat or a tiny Phillips head screwdriver and you turn it left, you make these, the tolerance more strict. But if you want more of a, a, a loose tolerance, a, uh, what you can do is you can turn it right towards the minus sign. But it's going to come to you with uh, uh, quite a bit of slack, so you're not going to have problems with people getting uh, positive triggers with an incorrect coin, but you're going to make sure that you're not going to get false triggers or, or uh, bad triggers from the correct coin. You want to make sure that it, um, you have this turned slightly to the right. But I'll be calibrating this and sending it to you as is. So all you need to do is insert your specific coin and give it a test. So let's power up. I've got a bad coin right here that's very similar to the good coins. I've got three good coins. I'm going to power up. Program one. Program one. So if I enter in an incorrect coin, it's returned through the return slot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up because the good coins are collected through the back. Coin accepted. Coin accepted. Coin accepted. And lastly, Coin accepted. Magnetic lock deactivated. And at this point to reset the system, I simply press B on the transmitter. Magnetic lock activated. And there you go. So that is the prop. Now there's another way to reset this prop uh, in case you don't want to use a wireless controller. And let me show you that right now. I use one of the mountable key switch modules that comes with this set, used to actually for many of the props. Uh, what I can do is I can manually, without wireless, uh, reset the prop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to power down. I'm going to make sure the key is turned left, and I'm going to connect this into the onto the key two header right in the middle, right next to the coin receiver. There is a, a second and a third header. There are only two pins labeled key two and key three. And so uh, now that I've got that connected, I'm gonna power back up. I'm gonna go through the entire sequence again, uh, and then I'm going to use the key to deactivate, or to reset the system. Program one. Power up. Coin accepted. Coin accepted. Magnetic lock deactivated. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my key right. You heard the relay click there, and then turn it, turn it left again, and the game starts over again. So. Coin accepted. Coin accepted. Magnetic lock deactivated. So that is program one. We've got seven more videos coming. Our next video is going to cover two light sensor based props all in one. Uh, but yeah, this board acts as nine different escape room props. So you can use and reuse and reuse the board for different rooms, for different props, for different ideas. And I'll also be selling this set with an extra control board in case you wanted to share all of the hardware. Uh, check out the link below. There's a, uh, a more detailed hardware video giving a, you a little demonstration of uh, all nine props all in one. This has been video manual number one of eight for the uh, nine in one escape room prop set. Thank you very much for watching.